Today I'm watching Angel Season 2, Episode 3. We're still very early on into Season 2. We know about this prophecy where Angel has the potential of becoming human and Wolfram and Hart are still around. We haven't met Darla yet. Darla's back. She mentioned Angel in the previous episode, but they still haven't met. So I'm very curious to see when that'll happen. No Buffy crossovers yet. I don't know if that was just a Season 1 thing, but I'm very excited to continue watching watching this series. My prediction is that Wolfram and Hart, together with Darla, whatever that storyline is going to be, will be our main villains for this season. I can't see them bringing back Darla for like one episode, two episodes. That seems pointless. She had such a big part in Angel's life. We've learned more about her backstory as well. I love those episodes anytime we get to learn more about Angel's history as a vampire. So please, no spoilers, but thank you so much for sharing and this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Signed in the clowns and tears of a clown, both in one night. What a treat. This is the guy from the karaoke bar? That was such a funny episode. You've been practicing, haven't you? A little. Probably not in front of the mirror. In the shower. He can't and wouldn't see himself in the mirror anyway. Yes. What happens to it now? It. Your heart, you big softy. <laughs> there are hills and mountains between us. I love the idea of Angel at home practicing Mandy, or maybe he's moved on to other Barry Manilow songs. Who knows? Oh, I need you closer. Is this real? Is this a dream? I know Darla's back, but to just suddenly show up at the bar, I don't think they'd have a happy reunion. Aren't you going to ask me to dance? I'm definitely thinking this is a dream. Angel would not be happy to see her. There would be a lot of questions. I still can't believe you're here. I mean, I killed you. This can't be the reunion, right? What? Come on. You haven't told anyone else about these dates of ours, have you? What? Come on. No, 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 no. Somebody get these two love vamps a room. What is happening? Did he just casually walk up to her and was like, so? yeah, oh my god. I was like, this has been going on for far too long. What's happening? Oh, this place is never going to get clean. Buck up. It's just a little dust. Oh. I'm very excited for this new set at the hotel. I give up. Very well, we'll just move our offices back to your living room. And I'm dusting. <laughs> I was skeptical when they picked it because it has such a history, but I love the art decor and like the uh, aesthetic of it. You need more than C-3PO and stick figure Barbie backing me up, no offense. <laughs> very little taken. Ah, <laughs> uh, I stand ready to fight the good fight, sir. What do you need? Financial advice. He's like, oh, that's disappointing. I want to fund demons. Or and get the city and the feds to give you a tax break and a loan at a sweetheart rate. Or you could apply for an FHA and get a PMI and lose a down payment. None of that. That's a lot of acronyms. Angel's no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> do that tax breaks, FHA, and PMI part again. All right. <laughs> Does Cordelia have a crush? The entire team. Pick me up in the back in the shade. Huh. Shotgun. <laughs> I mean, the rules of shotgun are rigid and inflicting, everybody knows. <laughs> Cordelia slays another one, nice. And rescues Wesley. Uh, afraid I threw my back out again. <sighs> Is that his pager? You may want to be a little more Guy Pearce in LA Confidential, and a little less Michael Madsen in Reservoir Dogs. I've seen Reservoir Dogs, but not L.A. Confidential. Oh my. Well, he's always great. What about you? Who doesn't love Denzel? <laughs> Angel. <laughs> I've never seen you have so much trouble with a simple vampire before. Yeah, usually they're not sitting on the ground recovering. <sighs> oh no. We don't get to see the vision this time? Oh no! Oh!
Was that gun? What's that ringing? Nothing, darling. It'll stop. That's why he's sleeping so much now, as Darla is infiltrating his dreams. Ignore it. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> why are you so good to me? I was going to say, why are they at the beach at the night? But they're vampires, obviously. You guys, God, I, don't, I don't know what I should do. <sighs> I had a vision. It's gone. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. We're not doing that. We're not starting this series off with that. Nope, 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 nope. It's a good thing she has Angel's car. Oh, God. Oh, God. You seem sad. It's just... I have to go. And it's interesting. You can hear the outside sounds. Like You can hear the knocking. You can hear the phone ringing. You can hear the pager going off. Oh, it's quite right. Now about the naked thing. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, no, no. <laughs> and he's like, yo, actually, I'm good. I got this from here. He just got bonged over that with an axe. Jill is not going to be happy. You know what he's going to do to me when he finds out I let his car get stolen? I mean, I like that car. Come on, what are you waiting for? Now they have to ride together with a pink helmet on his motorcycle. Yes, I love it. Not to mention the whole hat head thing. And you know, when you really think about it, how come I have to wear the lady's helmet? Stop being such a wanker and put it on. <laughs> I forgot that Wesley had a motorcycle. He looks adorable. He's nothing, d that Name's Gun. He's a uh, that he runs this town. I know who he is. No, 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 no! Trouble is caused. Tonight, it ends. Oh my god, he's terrifying! He's terrifying. The makeup prosthetics, always so cool, so well done. Nightmare fuel, for sure. I'm no friend. I mean, I'm just here on business. I'm a working girl. Oh no, oh no. She didn't mean to phrase it like that. God, that sounded stuck up, didn't it? I, I didn't mean to imply that I could be a working girl and you couldn't. Stop talking. Just stop. Just stop now, Cordelia. <laughs> Who invited the vampires? They have to be invited in. Why do they keep just playing fast and loose with this rule? Oh, keg to the face. Good night. Oh, through the glass. That's gonna sting. Oh no! Oh, don't take it out! Don't take it out! No, oh, you're screwed now. You're gonna be okay. Okay. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Oh, and you're surrounded by vampires also. What are the chances they took off an angel's car? Oh no, 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 no. Her pulse has been weakening. She passed out on the way over here. She gonna be all right? Step outside and let us take care of her. Is she gonna be? Cordelia's doing great. Let's do it, please. Come on, gun. She's in good hands. Gun. Cordelia, I'm so impressed. All of these situations, she's gotten so much braver and she's like, yep, this is what we did. Sad. She like jumped right in there, like. No worry about getting blood all over her shirt. She was complaining about grease stains earlier, but I feel like this sweater's now ruined. I can't stop. Can't ever stop. Yeah, he put so much pressure on himself. You move a muscle. <laughs> She's like, I'm still getting my car back. It's my car. <laughs> Thanks. Good. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sneaky vamp. Just headbutted the vampire right out of her. You don't have the keys? Well, I, I kind of left them in the car when I went in to save you. Yep, 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 yep. Looking for these? He's terrifying. They told me you was ugly, but damn. And you're the big bad gun. <laughs> Smacks his hand away. Oh, no, 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 no. You found Thank God she's got the weapon. Oh, it's not doing much though. You're killing him! What? 
What? What? What? What? There we go. It's like, use your other hand, Cordelia. Oh, mace to the face. That's gonna make him angry. Yep, back to demon form. Fight anywhere but beside this car. No, 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 no. Cordy, act. Whoa, nice tag team. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Mid air, give him the chops. Divac wasn't the danger my vision was warning me about. He wasn't? No. Then who was it? You're on a self destruct mission, unless you get some help. <laughs> yeah, he definitely doesn't care about what happens to him. You look beat. What's wrong? Nothing. Did you save any lives today? She's relentless. Like every night he's dreaming of her. But who takes care of you? And now she's like at the hotel, like it's not just some random location. She's getting closer to home. Oh my. Lean back. It's gonna get spicy. Oh my. <laughs> Definitely getting spicy. Let's hope Wesley doesn't interrupt. Oh my. Oh no! What? What? This is. Oh no. She's seducing him in his dreams and in real life. I could just eat you up. No, 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 please don't. Oh, that's not okay. Oh no, Angel. So that was my first time watching Angel season two, episode three. It definitely wasn't my favorite episode of the season. I still enjoyed it. It was interesting to see Cordelia and Gunn have a more character focused episode about the two of them. It felt like Wesley and Angel were kind of in the background for this episode and having Darla infiltrate Angel's dreams and that was so bizarre and the opening scene played for too long. I was like, I feel like this is a dream because I don't think he would react this way, but it was also going on for a long time. And I was like, okay, is this, what's going on here? And then obviously we see it is a dream and every night she's been coming back. This poor guy has just been constantly bombarded with dreams about Darla. And even when Wesley walks in, he jumps out of bed all upset saying, oh, you made her leave. And he's definitely enjoying himself with these dreams. So yeah, I'm very curious to see where that's going to go. Obviously, at the end of the episode, we saw Darla come in in real life, which was horrifying. And Angel has no idea. And that was so that was pretty upsetting to see that she's obviously taking advantage of the situation. And he thinks it's all in his mind, but she's there in real life and also in his mind at the same time. And they had different locations. And then the last one we saw, you know, she was at the hotel. Like she's, you know, at his front door, basically, like she's, you know, really wants to see him. And she, like she said in the previous episode, so here she is. I was wondering when we'd get a reunion between Darla and Angel, and we definitely had that, but this was not what I had expected at all. I didn't think she would just be standing at the bar. I wasn't anticipating dreams. I thought they would have kind of more of a showdown, and maybe that'll happen in later episodes as well. Angel obviously still thinks this is all in his dream and doesn't realize Darla is actually back. And they definitely hinted, you know, him sleeping in more and just wanting to go to sleep. And I wonder if he remembers his dreams after. Yeah, I'm very curious to see. And he didn't tell anybody about it. He wasn't like, oh, I've been dreaming of Darla. Other than, like I said, when he mentions to Wesley from a dead sleep, like you made her leave. But Wesley doesn't clue in as to who it is or would he instantly think Buffy or, you know, something else. I don't even know how much Wesley and Cordelia know about Darla. So, yeah, I'd be very curious to see where this storyline is going to go. I, like I said, I feel like this will be more than one or two episodes with Darla. It's probably going to be the whole season. Please, no spoilers. 
it was definitely interesting to see them finally have some kind of reunion as it was a more Cordelia and Gunn focused episode you know Cordelia has her vision runs in to save him and we find out he's just training but obviously still needs help later on in the episode and then even at the end when she says you know it's you that's in danger it's you're being reckless and we've definitely seen Gunn's character act like that he's impulsive he's not concerned about his own life he heads first into danger doesn't really think it through and you know has to be always on and even that scene at the hospital when he's getting mad at himself because he let somebody else get hurt and he puts so much pressure on himself to always be you know in survival mode always be in fight mode basically because of what happened to his sister that was obviously incredibly traumatizing and horrible and he mentions it to Cordelia or says his sister's name but she doesn't know who that is yeah it was definitely interesting to see a vision about somebody you know within the cast I will definitely say Cordelia has her moments for sure, but I feel like she held her own in this episode. It was a great episode for her character. She's definitely handling herself with much more confidence and, you know, is speaking clearly and has a plan. And when, you know, they take that girl to the hospital, Cordelia is talking to the nurse and is like, yep, this is what happened. This is what I did. This is exactly the information that you need. Here's where we are. And... She's not caught up in worrying about this girl. She's just stating the facts. I'm sure she was worried, but you know what I mean. She's just being very direct and here are the facts. We need to focus on saving this person. Here's the information you need. Obviously, Cordelia's been around horrible situations, fighting demons, and she even killed another demon in this episode as well. So it's definitely interesting to see her character evolve and be more confident and be more self-assured and handle herself in this situation. Angel wasn't there. Wesley wasn't there. She was on her own. And she's also supposed to be looking out for Gunn, and now she's having to, you know, rescue somebody else as well. And I'm so glad that they've let her character grow into this. At first, I was a bit skeptical when she had the visions, but it's been so nice to see her get more confidence. And even Angel's like, yeah, like you go drive the car. Like, that's fine. Like Angel has this confidence in her that maybe she doesn't have in herself. I wouldn't describe her as modest or humble, but in these situations, I feel like she's gotten enough experience now where she's able to be there and be in charge and handle things. I wouldn't say Cordelia is my favorite character, but episodes like this are great to get a little bit more insight and to see her at the forefront more instead of just being in the background all the time. And it kind of sounds like she's a little bit of a crush on David. So I'm curious to see where that's going to go. And she obviously vows, you know, to look out for Gunn at the end of this episode and says like, hey, you're stuck with me. I've got these visions. They're for a reason and I'm supposed to protect you. So I feel like that's foreshadowing for something for Gunn. I hope not, but given how things have gone with visions in the past. It was interesting to see the karaoke bar back in this. I was like, why would Angel be going back here? And the way the two of them were talking, I was like, why would Angel be practicing his karaoke? Then again, we see it was a dream. So I know in Buffy, they do a lot of putting in all these subtle hints that don't make sense till later on. And even we had that scene where Wesley is building a coffin for Angel, which was very foreboding. So I'm very anxious to see if that means anything, if they bring that imagery back. The makeup prosthetics, that demon looked terrifying. He kind of reminded me of the character from Trick or Treat, the Halloween movie, like the pumpkin head character, the little kid. I think his name is Sam, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, But that's what kind of came to mind, just kind of this like overgrown kid almost, like his clothes didn't really fit him properly and he was just terrifying looking though. Just the makeup, like I said, prosthetics, everything that they do on the show and I know it was done in real time. It wasn't, you know, added by a computer later because of the year this came out. I'd be very surprised to find out if that makeup was added, you know, via a computer later on. I love all that practical effects using the makeup and when you're an actor and you're interacting with that, that's what you'd be looking at. So I love all of that stuff. They did such a great job and Even for the demons, every time we see a demon, they're slightly different and just the effort they put in really pays off and it doesn't look dated even though the show now is over, you know, 20 years old, it still holds up. It's still horrifying to look at. I'm very excited to see their new setup at the hotel. I love the style and the architecture of the hotel and although the history of it is 
very, very heartbreaking. And that episode with Angel at the hotel was definitely one of my favorites of this season. We'll see what the rest of the season looks like. But out of the few we've seen so far, that one definitely sticks out. So I'm very curious to see this hotel now as their home base. Obviously, they needed somewhere new to go and Cordelia doesn't want them hanging out at her apartment all the time. And I think this was one of the few times we saw everybody sitting down after a vampire fight and like taking a minute and needing a moment to themselves to recover and rest. Usually they're ready to go. Well, maybe just Angel because everybody else is human. But the fact these vampires were so powerful and so strong and they needed to all like sit down on the ground, basically. They didn't even make it into the car. They needed to sit down and rest because it was just such a tough fight. That's always worrisome when the vampires are getting so strong and then you know that the battle that they're going to face is going to be even stronger. Overall, I enjoyed the episode. Like I said, it definitely wasn't my favorite of the season so far, but it was still pretty entertaining and it was an interesting character look into Cordelia and to see how far she's come. And she didn't say anything about the blood on her shirt at the end, but she had in the previous scene, you know, been complaining about grease stains. So I feel like she's getting more and more confident in her skills and getting more and more... I don't want to say comfortable because these situations are all horrible and somebody always gets hurt, but she's just getting more accustomed to it and adapting better and handling things under pressure a lot more. I'm worried about the fate of Gunn's character after this episode. Cordelia's visions are usually pretty, you know, on point. So they may be blurry and hard to see, but once they figure it out, you know, they usually follow through. So I hope nothing happens. Um, please no spoilers. And I'm very worried to see what happens when Darla and Angel actually meet. We know she's met him, but he's been asleep. And, you know, even when she's there in real life, and maybe Angel will tell somebody about these dreams if he's remembering them. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And check back often for more awesome content. She's relentless. Like, every night he's dreaming of her. Fight anywhere but beside this car. No, 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 no. I was going to say, why are they at the beach at the night? But they're vampires, obviously. And it's interesting, you can hear the outside sounds, like you can hear the knocking, you can hear the phone ringing, you can hear the pager going off. Yeah, usually they're not sitting on the ground recovering. I don't think they'd have a happy reunion.